It's called Journey of Hope, From Violence to Healing. It's a nationwide organization to help raise awareness for wrongful wrongful convictions as well as other problems in the criminal justice system. On Saturday, they are bringing their message to the steps of the state capitol. News 8's John Salazar spoke to some who cheated death through exoneration. Now they share their stories to help free others in prison that may be innocent of crimes they are accused of. He looks like any other photographer snapping photos on the grounds of the state capitol. Not long ago, his photo was snapped by the hands of Oklahoma State prison guards. Curtis McCarty was sentenced to death. I was arrested and charged with first degree capital murder in uh, the spring of 1985. I went to trial in 1986. I was convicted, sentenced to die, and spent the next 21 years fighting for my life. McCarty was released from death row after DNA evidence showed he was not a match for a 1982 rape and murder. He says the civic lessons from his childhood were shattered after stepping foot in a court of law for a crime he didn't commit. You know, I believed all those things that, that I was taught in school, that we're uh, a nation of laws, that we have a constitution that protects us from misconduct, that we all receive a fair trial, and it just simply didn't happen. First thing I did is got a ride home. <laughs> On Wednesday, this man, Anthony Graves, was released from Texas death row after spending 18 years behind bars for a brutal crime. Officials cite prosecutorial misconduct in his case. He was convicted of killing six people in Somerville, about 100 miles from Austin. In his first television interview, a free man, Graves said he'd lost 18 years of freedom, but... Never lost hope. I never lost hope because once you lose hope, you're just a dead man walking. So I never lost hope. I knew that one day it would come to this. I just didn't know what day. As McCarty continues to enjoy his resurrected freedom on the Capitol grounds, he thinks about Saturday's gathering, hoping stories like his and that of Graves will continue to work on a criminal justice system that many people say is broken. As a nation, because of all of these um, exonerations, I think we're coming together, as I said, and having um, these public dialogues now that are, are, are reasonable and geared toward uh, finding solutions. McCarty and five other death row exonerees will lead that discussion at the Texas State Capitol on Saturday. John Salazar, News 8 Austin. According to government information collected by the Innocence Project, there have been 261 post-conviction DNA exonerations. Texas leads the nation with at least 40 people released by DNA evidence. Saturday's rally begins at 1 p.m. at the state capitol.